Yesterday, I modded my Laserdisc player to include a button that puts it into test mode. Getting into test mode normally involves bridging a pair of points on the motherboard while powering the system on, which means having to take the top off the player. Since I normally have a few other devices on top of my player, I wanted a way to access test mode as needed to play discs that won't work for whatever reason otherwise. So the mod itself is really simple. I'll show you here on the back. On the back here, there's a little button that I mounted. Just drilled a hole in the back of this output jack panel and mounted a little tack switch there. And that switch is wired up to the two points on the motherboard that have to be bridged to, uh, to go into test mode. So all I have to do is press and hold that button while I turn the system on, and then as soon as it's in test mode, I can release it. The reason I wanted to get into test mode to begin with is because I bought a movie recently, the DiscoVision edition of Diary of a Mad Housewife, which is one of maybe two home video releases of this film, and is fairly hard to find. But I found out that the first side wouldn't play for some reason. I couldn't figure out why. I looked at the disc. It had some speckles toward the center that, you know, they look like laser rot. But I, I have discs with worse rot than that, visibly, that still play okay. So I didn't understand why it was doing this. A user on the Laserdisc database forums by the name of Happy Cube tipped me off to a possible solution, and that was to put the system in test mode and see if I could bypass the bad area on the disc and watch it. And he pointed me to a service manual for a very similar player that showed me where the points were. I tried it out and it worked. So I want to show you what the disc does normally and how putting it in test mode will help it to operate normally. So there's the disc itself. We'll go ahead and pop it in the player. This is just in standard mode right now. And you can see it gives me a P5 error. And it does this whenever I try to play it. So it was really frustrating. I was really hoping to watch this movie that you can't really get anywhere else. So let's try the system again in test mode. So I'll press the button on the back. Turn the power on. Now it's in test mode. It operates a little bit differently than the standard mode, but it will at least play the disc. So here we have the same disc. Put it in the player and show you how it works. Pressing play doesn't actually start playback just yet. It takes the disc in, puts it on the turntable ready to go. Press play will start it spinning. And then you have to press play again to get to actually play the film. So you can see here we have the Disco Vision logo. It is reading the disc. So we'll press play and it starts playing again. And you can see it's, yeah, it's got a little bit of, uh, got a little bit of rot to it, but it's not that bad. It's totally watchable. Only thing I have to do is get this display off the screen. And to do that, I have to press the program button on the remote rather than uh, the display button. Okay, so that's how that's how you turn that off. And now I can just watch the film normally. Uh, I can do. I can sort of do some of the trick play functions. I can pause it by hitting pause. It will freeze frame. It's kind of glitchy. If I hit play, it gets noisy. And if I hit play again, it just continues playing the film. I can also scan forward through it. And the audio comes through because it's just, from what I understand, it's just moving the uh, laser it doesn't, it doesn't cut off the audio, it just moves the laser across the disc. And then if I want to go to a specific frame in the film, I can still do that. So let's pause it. I hit the plus 10 button. So let's enter a number here. Let me turn the display on so you can see. Um, 30,000. You can see it's scanning through. Looks for 30,000, there we go. Hit play again. And again. Out. 
if you've seen my video about how to play the fifth side of Frenzy on a Pioneer player, you might be interested to know that test mode also has the same effect. It cancels out the automatic picture stop in test mode, it seems. So if I want to play the film, I can simply put it in test mode rather than turning the picture stop cancel on. Then it'll work pretty much the same.